Okay, well, it's a great pleasure uh, to be here today to be able to make the announcement here in Western Australia about a pilot to reform Australia's drought policy. This is something which has been called for for a very long time and I'm surrounded by people who have been involved in this project for much longer than I've been the Minister uh, at a Commonwealth level for Agriculture, Fisheries and Forestry. Uh, I'm joined here today by my state counterpart, Terry Redmond, uh, the State Minister for Agriculture here in Western Australia, the head of, of the National Farmers Federation in David Crombie, the head of the West Australian Farmers Federation in Mike Norton, and the head of the Pastoralists and Graziers Association, oh, sorry, the uh, Vice President of the Pastoralists and Graziers Association in Tony Seabrook. Uh, it's not a bad spread of the people involved in representation of the different concerns for Australia's farmers. And there's been a concern for a very long time that our process of dealing with hardship for farmers has been limited to drought being the only form of hardship that's, that's usually recognised and also a concern that we've waited for the crisis before government normally helps out. What's being piloted in Western Australia and announced today for a pilot that will run from the 1st of July this year and will be reviewed after 12 months will be the first occasion where our drought policy is driven by risk management instead of crisis management. Normally when there's no exceptional circumstances declarations in place, which is the case here in Western Australia, it's the time for government to retreat. There's no political pressure on us when times are good, uh, in seasonal terms, to be able to provide extra assistance for farmers. But what that means is we have for many years been in an endless cycle of when times are good, government retreats, we then wait for the crisis and provide just enough support to keep people just in business during those shocking times and the moment times start to be good again, government disappears. We knew that for the long term projections for the climate, we needed to find a different way forward to shift from crisis management to risk management, to shift from an exceptional circumstances system to a system of preparation. The pilot does exactly that. The government a couple of years ago now commissioned three reviews. One for forward projections on climate, a second uh, to be conducted by a social panel which looked at the social impacts of drought to acknowledge that the impacts are not only impacts that affect farm businesses but also that affect farm, farm families and that affect regional communities. And finally a productivity commission report to look at regional economies and how we can get the best productivity outcomes through a new approach to helping with drought reform. Before I go to the contents of the pilot, can I give some guarantees to the rest of the nation about what is not under threat in any way by this pilot being conducted? The government has always said that any process of drought reform was about preparing for the next drought, not for changing the rules under people during the current drought. With that in mind, people who are currently under exceptional circumstances declarations in many parts of the eastern side of the continent and in parts of South Australia need to know that the rules for them do not change. The guarantee that we have always given is that for people in the current drought, the rules and support for them remains under the current system. If they're under an exceptional circumstances declaration, as that comes up for expiry, it will be reviewed under the normal rules by NRAC, the normal export body that conducts those reviews. If they're in a situation where there is new hardship and a state government wants to make a fresh declaration and wants to make an application for us for that purpose, they will be able to continue to do so. I want to give that absolute assurance if people are worried about what happens to their support during the current drought, what happens to them during the life of this pilot, the rules do not change. We're looking at how we can do things better in preparation for the next drought and for the next level of hardship, not the current rules. The current rules deal with three areas. 
household support, business support and community and social support. I want to look at each of those three and just explain how the trial is different to the current system in each of those three areas. Household support at the moment, if you don't have a declaration, there is nothing available. If you haven't had the system of lines on maps put a line that covers your property, there is no support available. If you do have a declaration in place, then support becomes available while that declaration is there for an amount similar to the New Start allowance, but obviously taking account of the assets that are applicable to farmers. We have taken up in the trial the recommendation that is within the Productivity Commission report, and that is that uh, you shouldn't have to wait for a declaration to be able to access the food on the table money. Productivity Commission report recommended that that money should be available instead of when declarations come and go on a basis of the money being available for three out of any seven years. That provides a level of certainty for the planning for farmers. Obviously in a one year trial we don't actually hit that three year benchmark anyway and so there's issues around that to still be worked through. But that principle of household support being available even in the absence of a declaration, so long as someone meets a hardship test is part of the trial.